Hello, today I will show you the easiest way to install a stable diffusion AI on your computer in just a couple of clicks. Everyone has probably heard about AI that generates images. This is one of them. Stable Diffusion is an open source project, which means it's completely free, forever. You can turn off the internet on your computer and it will continue to work, because it's located on your computer. But you can miss some updates. There are several interfaces for it. They differ in functionality and various features. Today we will install the most popular and the most powerful one, with lots of add-ons and scripts. This project is called Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111. Before we start, let's talk about the system requirements. The most of the work is done on a GPU. You need at least 4 GB of video memory. For example, I have a laptop with a GTX 1060 and everything works, but slowly. The better your graphics card, the faster generation will take. In my case, GTX 1060, generating one image in about 30 seconds. For example, GTX 4090 will generate the same image in a few seconds. You will also need enough free disk space, about 20 GB. Let's start the installation. Follow the first link in the description. There is a GitHub. If you scroll down here, you can see the installation process. You need to download Python and Git. But we will not do this. There is a wonderful person who took care of us and made the installation as simple as possible. Close this tab and follow the second link in the description. Click the code, download zip, unpack the archive and put it in the root directory of any disk. Next run the file called webui user first run and wait for the installation to finish. For stable diffusion to work, we will need a model. This is a basis on which images the AI were studied. There are lots of them for various tasks. To begin with, I recommend the deliberate. Link in the description. This model perfectly generates people, animals, cartoons, abstractions and almost anything. An important point is not to go too deep in the models. Don't download any from unknown sources. It could contain a malware. Download it, cut it out, go to the folder where Stable Diffusion is installed, Models, Stable Diffusion, and paste the model there. Now the installation is complete. Close CMD, go to the installation folder, find the web UI user file, open it with any text editor, and paste this line. This will speed up the work by 15 to 20 percent, without any damage in quality. Save and close. Now you can launch a stable diffusion by double clicking on the same file. The first launch can take a long time. At the end you will see this line. Just enter this address in the browser and the interface will open. At the top left corner you can see the model you are currently working on. You can add as many models as you want, just refresh and choose one. The first tab is text to image. It's a main tab in which images are generated from text prompts. Let's try to generate something. I will make a separate video on how to write prompts, now I will show the very basics. You don't have to write a full sentence or a story, you need a short keywords. Subject, pose, description, style. Let's say we want to make a redhead woman in the mountains. You can write a redhead woman in the mountains in the upper field and click generate. AI will understand you and do what you want. But it would be better to write something like photo woman redhead mountain photo background realism. You can click generate as many times as you want and you will always get a new result. This is a whole science of how to write prompts. Of course, I'm not an expert, you can write anything, however you want and experiment. You can look what prompts other people use in their works, I'll leave a few links in the description. All images are saved in the Stable Diffusion Outputs folder. And depending on what you did, text to image and image to image. 
the following field is negative prompts. What you don't want to see on the image. Let's say I don't like that the background is blurry. Here I write blurry out of focus. It's turned out better, but still not quite as I want. So I add a detailed background. I think now it's much better. Let's look at the parameters below. Sampling steps. How many times the AI will go through the prompts? The more, the longer the processing will take. A good result will be at value of 15 to 30. Sampling method. What algorithm will be used to create the image? I use Euler A for 99% of my task. The rest I just turn off in the settings, but you can play around. Restore faces. According to the idea, it should restore faces. In fact, it works bad and I don't use it. Tilting. To create images that can be connected, I'll show you now. You can copy this image and paste one by one from either side. It will connect. High res fix is a useless function to increase quality. There are more advanced tools to upscale your image. White and height, the size of the image in pixels. I don't recommend doing above 1000 pixels. It will take a very long time, it's better to upscale the image. Batch count, how many images to generate, batch size, multiplies the previous value. CFG scale is how much the AI listened to your prompts. I recommend leaving the value 7 to 8. Less will be more creative, higher will be more saturated and abstract. Seed is like a starting point. Minus 1 is a random number. Let's say we like what we got. You can copy the seed or just click here and fix something in the prompts. Let's say we want a blonde woman right now. So by using seed you can get some consistent results. Script, uh, some additional parameters, I explain it in another video. Under the generated image there are a few buttons. Send to image to image in paint extras. By clicking the first one we get to the next tab. Here you can edit the resulting images. Finish something, erase, add or upload your own image and work on it. We will also leave it for another video. Send to extras send us to a tab where you can upscale your image. Resize is a parameter to tell us how many times image will be increased. I set those parameters and most often it works fine. The next useful tab is PNG info. Let's say you generated something yesterday and you really like it, but you forgot prompts and parameters. Don't worry, drag the image and drop it into this tab and get all information from it. You can immediately click send to text to text, click generate and you can get the exact same image. That's all I got for you today, hope you like it, see you next time, bye.